Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a very special unboxing episode, or I guess I should say untrash canning episode, because today I'll be looking at this trash can filled with muscle characters themed after Masters of the Universe. Isn't that cool? So basically, if you're unfamiliar with muscle characters in general, they're two inch tall figures uh, made out of hard plastic, uh, usually colored peach or other variety of colors, uh, and basically they're uh, modeled after, well today they're modeled after either wrestlers, popular themes such as He-Man, uh, Aliens, uh, several other things that the company Super 7 have recently gained license to. They're unable to produce any of the original muscle figures because those are still held by Bandai, uh, at least uh, for now. Maybe in the future they'll be able to gain the ownership to them because they are really doing a stellar job with these guys. I, I've, I'm really impressed. Um, I only briefly popped open the top so I didn't have to the weekly fumble with it on, with you on camera. Uh, so I was able to peep inside a little bit and see the quality of the figures, and I'm very impressed. So uh, yeah, let's get on to unboxing this thing. So anyway, in each one of these trash cans holds about 12 little Masters of the Universe muscle figures. And uh, they come in a variety of colors from what I can tell on the outside. Let's see, we got uh, purple, orange, green, blue, and cool. Uh, this is a like a, a glow-in-the-dark color, I guess. Um, it looks like it's Tila. Master at Arms is Daughter. Um, very cool. She's uh, snake-themed for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, she's not really one of the characters I really know about or remember of, so uh, and I guess that's cool. Um, just kind of those obscure characters, even though she's one of the main three Eternia characters, but I, I digress. Um, her staff is kind of inter interesting, very rubbery, but I, I, I'm afraid that might break at, at any point, so of course I'm going to keep fiddling with it. Uh, but yeah, so it's very cool. Um, I haven't seen any muscle figures, uh, at least in the past, do anything like that, so that's kind of interesting. Um, it seems a bit fragile, but I, whatever. Um, let's see, who's this back here? Ooh, here we go, some guy in purple, Manny Faces. Um, he's ready for action, he's got his fists up, and he's got his angry face on, ooh. Um, <laughs> Actually, I don't know, really know what face this is. Yeah, I guess it is his angry face. Um, he has a variety of different faces in that cylinder he calls a uh, neck and head. Um, and uh, based on what mood he's in, he changes his face. It's quite a gimmick. Um, definitely really a cool, cool addition. He seems like a muscle character already. He's just oddball. Um, so yeah, he's, he's very cool. Very cool addition. Let's see, let's go for a green guy there. Oh, wow, talk about obscure. Uh, here's Merman. He's he's a merman. He's a mermaid man. Man, I guess. Um, very aquatic -y. Very appropriate that he's in green, too. Um, what do you mean, appropriate? That's stereotyping. <laughs> okay, okay, man. Uh, also, it looks like he has got a bow tie on his, uh, his belt. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Is that from the original cartoon? Because I don't remember that. Oh, well. Um, sit you over here, guy. Uh, and uh, let's see. Let's go for a blue dude. Oh, cool. Man at arms. He's got his mace and he's ready for action. He's got his pauldrons and his stuff on there, even though you can't tell what's part of him and what's his armor. Kind of interesting. Uh, this guy's the, the armorer and the, the guy that supplies all the weapons for He Man, even though he only really uses the, the sword of He and his. <laughs> his shield. Um, so I'm not really sure what his job, this guy's job is, but uh, that certainly is doing something. Um, we, we see him everywhere. Um, yeah, let's sit you back here. Uh, let's go for a green guy. Oh, cool. Um, whiplash, right? Yeah, got the tail? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, he looks very, he looks very muscle -y. Uh Definitely looks uh, like an original character if, if I hadn't known already about He-Man. Um, Dig those feet. Look at those feet. Uh, very crocodile-y. Um, but he's definitely got a, a bit of an overbite problem. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, and also, I like the fact that he's also in green. Very aquatic. Very appropriate. Um, who knows if those guys actually come in different colors, but if so, I really lucked out that they're both green. And they're both aquatic. That's cool. Anyway, who's this big guy? 
Oh, Buzz Off. No, no, that's actually the character name. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is Galtor's giant bug monster henchman guy who has lobster claws for hands. I, I did not remember that. Um, very cool. Very mus muscle-y. You know, very part of the muscle theme, it seems. Uh, he seems like he would be like a cool luchador uh, if, you know, that were the case. Let's see, who's this orange dude? Oh, one at a time, one at a time. Beast Man! Beast Man! My man! Wow, look at that face! Wow! That is really good detail on that face. A lot of, a lot of good hair detail. His collar's kind of crazy. I don't remember that collar being weird. Um, but yeah, he's he's kind of prone and ready to attack. He looks very animalistic, which I guess is appropriate for uh, Beast Man. And he's got uh, appropriate feet. He's kind of like a, I don't know, like a werewolf, I guess. I didn't really look too far into this character, to be honest. Uh, he's just always a weird creature, but I guess he is a, like a werewolf. Huh. Uh, sudden realization. Ooh. Oh, hey, cool. Here we go. Here's He-Man. By the power of Grayskull, I'm in blue. Yeah, that's cool. Of course, all heroes should be in blue, I guess. Um, Commanded Arms is. Uh, so, yeah, I really looked out on the colors. Um, He-Man's got his shield, got his sword of He. Oop, it's rubbery, too. I'm afraid that it might crinkle at any moment. Uh, but he looks very cool, but he, he's a little hunchback, isn't he? He's kind of like a little apprehensive. He's kind of, he should be looking up a little more, right? Um, yeah, he's kind of stuck in that position. Weird. Kind of odd choice for molding, but I don't know, maybe he got a little squished. Um, yeah, and maybe there's, there'll be other versions in uh, Wave 2 that'll be kind of cool. Uh, which I might end up getting. Who knows? I'm already really impressed by the fact that these guys are very detailed, and very art well, not, they're not artic articulate, but they look like they could be. That, and they look a lot like the main characters from the toy line, so I guess that's uh, a, good, a good plus if you're basing your whole series off of that. Oh, some Triclops. Cool. I almost didn't remember your name. <laughs> He's got uh, three different eyes. They all have different little powers. One of them's laser, one of them's night and vision, and I forget what the third one is, but... I already showed my nerd card there by even knowing two of those. But yeah, he's uh, just kind of a crazy-looking character. He definitely would look like a regular Muscles character. Um, so who knows? Um, who knows? Maybe after doing such a good job with these type of characters, um, Bandai will cede the Muscle figure license to these guys because these are really good sculpts. I really like it. Oh, hey, He-Man! You've done it again! Nice, nice. I almost didn't recognize him in, in the, the orange. Um, a little disappointing he's not in blue as well, but I guess, you know, heroes are in blue. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe there's not a color convention, and I'm just making that up in my head. But, I, you know, you can't have a He-Man without a Skeletor. You know, he's got his, his Staff of Havoc, and he's got his little grimace going. Eh. And he's ready for action. I like that. I really like that. That's, that's good sculpt. So, okay, last two dudes. Who do we got? A Ram Man? Wow. Okay, here's a big beefy dude. He's kind of like the Juggernaut. He'll just like knock through walls and stuff and just keep on going. That's cool. He's he's kind of a chunky little dude and yeah, he's definitely a muscle figure. That's cool. Um, definitely reminds me of a lot of figures I've seen. Um, and last but not least, Trapjaw. Cool. He's got his little robot arm. Little rubbery arm. Cool. Uh, and he's got his big old overbite. Let's see. And it looks like he's got like a piercing, like you could like hang him from a Christmas tree or something. That's weird. Um, that's very cool. I like him. Um, he's one of those underappreciated, under uh, shown characters from what I from what I remember. But because it's always about He-Man and Skeletor, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's it. That's for that's it for this untrash canning. I guess this unboxing of muscle figures. Um, hopefully, they'll make more of these and more trash can type themes because this was kind of fun to have a bit of a variety and not really know what you get. Uh, and also, uh, I expected this this whole thing to be a lot bigger, but I guess you don't really need a lot of space when all your characters are rubber and can compact very well. So yeah, I'll have a lot of fun with these guys. They'll be kind of like my my lieutenants of my muscle figures in in, in tandem. There's a little bit of difference between the original ones and these updated ones, but not a lot. There's still a lot of high-detailed sculpts in the original ones as well. So, really, they're on par. Super 7, you're doing a good job. I want to see more work from you. So, uh, 
who knows, maybe I'll be doing a few more of these type reviews later. But certainly down in the road, down the line, I'll have some more uh, muscle videos, some more random showcases of the original muscle figures, so keep a lookout for that. And uh, yeah, until next time, I have the power!